in there and it's all uh, glued together. I thought I would just uh, poke some random holes in this and uh, no pattern to it, just uh, here, there, and everywhere. And I thought I would just uh, try to see if I could edge turn these dowels and uh, have that just be something of some small interest on this. Got this, uh, these holes drilled here, and I cut myself some uh, dowels. According to the label, this is Brazilian hardwood, quarter inch. Just put a little dab of glue in there. Take a peg. I had to chamfer these a little bit so they'd go in the hole. And uh, just use the wood mallet, tap them home. Well, it's the next day. Went home, had dinner with the wife, a good night's rest, and I'm back. And I came in this morning, and uh, I'm sorry I didn't get any of this on video, but I did uh, get this thing turned down. I, I put it on the sander, and I, I cut these uh, little dowels down so that they wouldn't catch. And then I, I turned this down. I must say I'm pretty excited. This is really the best surface I've produced so far, you know, by cutting. And, of course, I, I sanded through the grits here, and there's very little tear out. There are some little lines here uh, from either the sanding and... I'm going to be flipping this thing around and I've got the recess in there to interface with the chuck so I'll be turning this around and hollowing it out here uh, this morning. So. Alright, I've uh, got myself a depth gauge and I'm going to core this out such that I leave about a quarter of an inch on the bottom. And that thing is spinning, I don't know why. I hope I can get it out of there. I'm going to chase the sides of this uh, with a uh, skew here as I go and uh, we'll just go ahead and take it on down. Okay, I've got a small spindle gouge and I'll see if I can uh, work this thing out. That feels pretty good. For some of you that have made comments, I just want to let you know, I do have a face shield, but I just added this little piece of blue tape, just so I don't take this thing down too far. I still have about three quarters of an inch to go. Finishing it out, I need to take about another eighth of an inch. Yeah, I kind of want to have a rounded corner on the inside. The depth is just right. Oh, it's a little thick down there still. So we'll, tra we'll dress that up and then we'll go to sand it. In my last video, there were a lot of comments made about the technique I was using to sand. So I took those to heart. They were safety uh, concerns. You know, don't stick your fingers in there. I really appreciate uh, that concern. All right, that feels really good. I've got about a quarter of an inch there wall thickness, maybe just a tad more, maybe five sixteenths, and it's fairly consistent. So. I'm going to go ahead and, and call that good. JP. And hopefully this uh, will be in the home of my great, 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 great grandchildren. And uh, because of that little mark there, they'll have some clue that it actually came from their great, 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 great grandpappy. Thought on this one I would try a little bit of this natural stain. Uh, down to the last teensy bit of this. I love this stain. I've used it many, many times over the years for my furniture projects. All right, I'm just making the little tenon here for the box and uh, turning the zebra. Beautiful. Probably, oh, I just overdid it just a tiny bit. Well, this zebra is really amazing to work with. I think I love this wood. Thanks to my friend Skip for finding this stuff. We were at a flea market one day. I think it was Mount Dora. And he found this box of wood. And he goes, hey, Jim, you want this for the top? And I bought it from the guy, and it's all full of this stuff. So I have a feeling this is going to be one of my favorite woods to work with. And I think that looks pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and 
make a finial for this. Okay, for the finial, I've got a little scrap of walnut, and what I've done here is I've center drilled it 3 8 and I've glued a little 3 8 inch hardwood dowel, and then that's going in the Jacobs chuck, and I'm going to use my live center here uh, while I turn this round, and then I'll pull the live center off of it and uh, turn the finial. I thought I had done a good job with this, but when I got it home and examined it more closely, I became very dissatisfied with it. First of all, the lid is too sloppy. I, I overcut this top by a good sixteenth of an inch, I would say, and it's just too loose. And then, <clears throat> I was looking at my finial, and I discovered there's a nice little crack right there. And I started thinking about how that came to be. And what it is, is when I put, when I drilled this for the dowel, uh, I kind of pushed that dowel in there under a friction fit. And so I cut a new dowel and a new uh, blank for finial and I cut a new lid. So here's the new lid. I had a piece of cherry. I believe this is cherry. And so I went ahead and chucked that up. And oh my goodness, what a wonderful wood to cut. I'm sorry I didn't get that on film, but I was just gushing the whole time I did this. I really enjoyed uh, cutting the cherry. And it came out very nice. It's a much tighter uh, register uh, with the top here. And uh, I returned the walnut finial. And uh, this time I uh, glued that in there with CA, but it had a sliding fit versus an interference fit with the dowel. And then I cut this thing such that I did not have the dowel peeking through the bottom. So this is drilled about half inch uh, down in and the dowel goes in there and it's all uh, glued together. So on balance, I'm pretty happy with this second attempt and I'm just glad I didn't settle for that inferior first top. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you'll leave a comment and a like and uh, if you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll become a subscriber. Thank you very much. Picky, picky, picky.